Good morning, saints. Welcome back to my channel, Anoint You With Power Ministries. I am Prophetess Kristen Laurie, and thank you for every subscriber, every comment, every like, every share, every email. We truly, 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 truly appreciate and love you all, for it is not us, but it is God. Good morning, good morning, good morning. Um, God wanted me to get on just to release the prophetic word of encouragement. He took me to Proverbs twenty four sixteen. The godly may trip seven times, but they will get up again. But one disaster is enough to overthrow the wicked. I don't know who needs to hear that, but I'll repeat it again. The godly man may trip seven times, but they will get up again. But one disaster is enough to overthrow the wicked. Mm -mm 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 -mm. I don't know about you guys, but lately, oh, it's been, it's been, it's been real. It's been a lot of warfare. It's been a lot of just intensity and just activity in the spirit realm and just, oh, my job you know, just it seems like the more the more favor you obtain from God and from man, you know, the enemy wants to attack you and people being nasty to you for no reason and your loved ones being nasty to you for no reason and, and, and you're just like, God, why? Why? Why am I being treated this way? And and um you know, many of us are in cert uh, certain situations that, you know, very uncomfortable and just confusing and we're just being attacked left and right. And God is saying that's because something big is coming. Of course, the enemy is going to try to give you everything he's got. And I don't know who needs to hear this, but you're struggling. You've been struggling. You've been feeling the intensity. You've been feeling the activity. You've been feeling like you've been hitting a wall and you're struggling. But God is saying, don't, don't give in. Don't give Give in. God is saying, get back up and keep going. God is saying that that resistance you feel, that wall, you feel like you're hitting that stagnation. God is saying, that's where I need you to push through. That's where I need you to keep going. Jesus, yes, Lord. Father, God is saying, listen, come on in. Come on through. Come on through. Don't give up. Keep up the good fight. Keep up the good fight. Don't let the attacks scare you. Don't let the attacks make you think that you're doing something wrong. Uh, God is saying, just go back to the basics and reevaluate where it's coming from and why it's happening yes some of us may have to do a little bit of cleanup may have to repent may have to get back in alignment but for the most part for many of us something big is coming because you've been obedient jesus says the lord you've been following me you've not given up on me you've done what i've asked you to do and that resistance is because a breakthrough is coming says the lord don't give up on me says the lord don't give up on your situation says the lord don't give up on your spouse says the lord don't give up on your job says the Lord continue to pray continue to fast the father God is saying don't give up that resistance you feel it's okay it's okay because something big is coming don't let it discourage you says the Lord when people act nasty towards you don't get even because God is going to bless you three times over you let him deal with it father God tells us let let him deal with our enemies let let your enemy let your enemy come before God you have nothing nothing to do or nothing to fear but to pray praise Jesus. Father God, I don't know who needs to hear this, but you got resistance going on. You're struggling. You're hanging on by a thread, but God is saying, keep going. Get back up. Let him meet you in that low place to bring you back up to, to complete restoration. Yes, hallelujah. Restoration. God is saying he is in the process of throwing out restoration on his people. Peace to his people. Before that blessing can come, before that thing can come, he needs to just wave a blanket of restoration and peace. Peace, peace, peace. Because what is that blessing without peace? What is that blessing without restoration? God wants us to be in a place to be able to receive it. A place of healing a place of true love, a place of peace. Peace has to consume you because peace is the fruit of God. Peace is the evidence of God. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Yes, Lord. Come on now. Come on now. Whoever you are who needs to hear this, don't back down now. Don't give up now. Keep on going, Father God. So stay in the fight. Stay in the fight. For many of us, this is the fight of our lives. For many of us, this is the this is that blessing we've been waiting for. Whether it's an open door, a published book, our marriage to be restored, a business deal, whatever it is that the enemy is trying to attack us on. This is the biggest, the biggest point, the biggest battle of our lives. And God is saying, listen, you got to go. You got to work for it. You got to, you got to keep pushing through until he sends that breakthrough. But 
Complete restoration and complete peace is needed first and foremost internally, internally. Many of us have to just reshift our focus. Many of us have to just think about how far we've come. Don't look back. Don't walk in condemnation. Don't think, well, what did I do wrong? God is saying for many of us, yeah, we may have to clean it up a little bit. We may have to repent a little bit. But for those of us who have who have followed him all this time, we just have to reposition our minds to think about how far we've come and to not lose sight of the strategy so peace is important during this time restoration is important during this time allowing God to deal with our enemies is important during this time continue to fast and repent and seek him and be transparent during this time because there will be breakthrough Jesus I don't know who needs to hear this but breakthrough is right around the corner for you for you God is saying don't give up because he's in your situation just let him restore you give you peace and the rest will all fall in place. I love you guys. God bless.